Hello everyone, we're up at the summit of Messiah again, doing some fantastic science. Uh, so we have a thermal camera pointed below. We also have a DSLR in here, which is recording uh, the lava lake motion for over 25 picture frames per second. And so what we're doing with this science here, the thermal camera is measuring a certain wavelength of light, which is called the infrared. So this is above the wavelength of light that our eyes can see. Um, so our eyes can see between about 400 and 700 nanometers. So that's the unit that we use to measure um, the wavelength of light. And it, the wavelengths we're using are somewhere above 850 nanometers uh, to where the, the sensor sensitivity ends. Um, and this is important because we can tell, um, we can essentially post calibrate after the film what our pixel colors are like um, with their appropriate temperatures. So that's how the thermal camera works. I hope you know it's playing that sound well enough. And what we're going to be doing with the DSLR, I mentioned this in the brief, is we're going to be cross comparing the two. We're going to be tracking various features um, on the lava lake. So there are sort of colder plates. For want a better word, float across the top, um, and then the lava lake seems to hit the sides um, and splash back up. And there may also be some bubble bursts um, on the lava lake surface as well. So I'm sure you want to see the lava lake again. So I'm going to lean over the side, and there it is, beautiful lava lake. So I'll look at it like this for a little bit for you, um, and I'll probably try and put a video for the day as well, and I might even put a camera. So we've got Tom and Rebecca at the summit as well, and they're doing something slightly different. They're measuring the gas emissions with a new uh, sulfur dioxide spectrometer that we've got. So a spectrometer works in a certain way. It collects um, data about the intensity of a range of, of wavelengths of light. So essentially we can pick out points which are important for the absorption of sulfur dioxide. And by doing this, we can calculate how much sulfur dioxide is in our path length. So what Tom and Rebecca are doing over there, so there's Tom and there's Rebecca, um, is scanning this spectrometer across the plume. And by doing this, we can essentially build up a profile of sulfur dioxide concentration across the plume. And this gives us an approximate idea of how much gas is coming out of, out of this volcano. There are a few other things we have to do before that, but that's roughly how it works. Uh, so Rebecca is here on a, a gloss uh, research studentship, so it's a very exciting experience for her. Not many undergraduates would, would get to do this, so it gives her the money to, to come out and do this fantastic research, and then she gets to help with uh, processing the data afterwards. Um, so I don't know whether there's anything else I want to tell you about now, but if you have any requests for things you want to, to know about what we're doing or anything else, then uh, please uh, let me know. Um, so one more look. Check it's still there, just in case it might have left, but it's been here since about 2015. Relatively long lived. Uh, so that's, that's it from me for the moment. Um, probably an update soon uh, on some of the other stuff we're doing. I hope so. Well,